Hey guys, so this is the second official vlog of my channel and this vlog is for the 18th to the 26th of June. Um, so yeah, starting off with the 18th to the 20th of June, I was basically just editing a bunch and also um, picking up a couple of shifts at work. Overall, this week has been kind of hectic. Um, after this week, there's only one week left of my mid-year break before I have to go back to school. So I did try to take up as many um, shifts at work as possible but also this just means that like i had less time to do the things that i had planned out for me so like my crafting things like and video editing and all that so yeah but basically on the 21st of june i just started baking um some muffins because i haven't baked in a while and so i kind of missed that so the muffins I baked were blueberry muffins and I added a few chocolate chips and my mom wanted macadamia nuts in some of them. So the muffins turned out um, really nicely, it's just that I personally don't like baked um, fruits or baked goods with fruits in them. Um, so I wasn't a big fan, um, but I would prefer next time to, instead of using blueberries, but to use um, straight up just chocolate. So just chocolate chip muffins would be nice. But yeah, I'll leave the link in the description to the recipe if anyone wants to try it out because it's actually quite good. The recipe overall is actually also very simple. I have definitely done more complicated recipes before. Um, the thing that I just had to prepare quite ahead of time was the buttermilk. Uh, because we don't really buy buttermilk um, like just off the supermarket shelf. So I just used the milk and some vinegar. Uh, you can also just use some acidic juice as well. But yeah, this recipe basically called for flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, salt, buttermilk, um, melted butter, oil, eggs, vanilla extract, and blueberries. Um, with the chocolate and macadamia nuts, I just eyeballed them. There wasn't like any problem with um, how much I added. The recipe is also quite simple. Like I said, I just prepared the buttermilk ahead of time to make it an actual buttermilk. And then it's just all the dry stuff including the sugar and then all the wet stuff and then mixing everything together and um, stirring in the toppings and then scooping it out and baking it. So editing this vlog now it is the start of my last week of my video break. Um, so I have seven days until I go back into class. It's my menu break has been quite hectic. Um, lots of shifts and saving up money and also just like buying craft supplies and all that, which I haven't been able to use yet because, um, because the amount of time that I spent, um, with bigger projects and work shifts, uh, left me less time to do smaller craft projects that i wanted to do so that's good like so i either have to um do that while i'm like you know while in the middle of my semester which might be super duper hard and exhausting to do or um at the very end of the year which uh, wouldn't be a bad idea because i got like um quite a few months until second year starts but yeah um, knowing how semester one went in my course, I know that it's, that my content in my vlogs is just gonna shift more towards, like, working and studying and, you know, a bit more traveling and less so of the, like, um, big decoration projects and all that. And I hope you guys stay around for that because I'm still gonna be crafting, I'm still gonna do bullet journaling, I'm still gonna bake and all that. It just might be a bit more spread out or a bit more, uh, like, or I might just do it a bit less. So yeah, I hope to get my videos up on either Sundays or Mondays. Um, I think either those two days would be really good. Um, it's just that I have to figure out, you know, when I should be editing and when, like, you know, I should have a fixed shift. So, yeah, hopefully I do get fixed shifts for this upcoming semester um, at work. So then I can plan out, like, my class times. My class times are actually fixed. I can't choose those class times. So, um, yeah, but I can just plan out, like, editing sessions so then I don't have to worry about when to edit that week's video um 
And yeah, hopefully I do stay up with this upload schedule because I know in the past I've said like, oh, I'll be uploading every week and then I don't end up uploading because it just gets a bit too much. But yeah, that's the whole point of transferring to vlog style videos is just to um, basically get content or get things um, from like things I do that I don't have to schedule in. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and get more confident in filming outside in the sense of when I'm traveling uh, rather than like you know in the middle of class or in the middle of work shift like I'm not gonna be filming my classmates or like my workmates and all that like if they want to appear they can appear as like friends and like in some segments of the vlog but yeah So these are the muffins um, fresh out of the oven. They do look a bit more yellow and golden on screen or on camera because of the yellow light that we have in the dining room. So yeah, but other than that, moving on to the 22nd of June, I did my nails um, and then I had to head off to work and it was also sort of a rest day for me. Um, so most of my nail polish is sinful colors. I have the um, protective base coat and then I use the lilac or light lilac I think it was um, this color and uh, I use a Revlon daydream color I think it was um, basically I left the index finger for a accent nail on each hand um, but yeah I just sort of felt like doing a BTS theme and if you're wondering yes I'm really bad at painting my nails which is why I use q-tips and a, a small little paint brush paint brush that I use as a cleanup brush um, whenever I do my nails, so yeah. Also, if you're wondering how long um, this nail polish has lasted, it's uh, been nearly a week and I'd say majority of the nail polish has lost, so uh, I think I would want to try and do my nails every week maybe, that, that might be fun. I don't know whether I'll have the time, but yeah, we'll see. So these are my finished nails and uh, moving on to the 24th of June. On the 23rd I just did uh, another shift and so I was quite tired. On the 24th I moved my LED lights that's on that wall to the edge of my desk. Um, I couldn't capture me actually like putting it on the edge of my desk. So yeah that's all I could get. 
Um, I also did my BTS wall. So I have three sections of my walls that I want to put like K-pop posters on and I'm sort of separating the groups. Um, but yeah, this one's my BTS one. It is right next to my bed and it's actually kind of cozy um, at night. But basically, uh, I added all the posters first, then the smaller photos um, surrounding them, so then I can lay it out nicely. Um, then I went on to the Mamamoo and Seventeen wall, which uh, helps cover up the tape that the LED lights left on the wall. And if you're wondering why this wall is black, it's because I put some chalkboard vinyl. And so I do have some chalk that I can like draw on with it and I might do that in the future. I think that'll look quite nice. Um, but basically Mamamoo and Seventeen will combine together because the number of individual like uh, photos, the smaller ones that I had uh, were a lot less than Stray Kids which is the other one so I decided to combine them together um, but I think I accidentally had two Hwasa photos um, because like of the individual photos um, it's kind of hard to tell but I think I did accidentally print two of her and so I'm missing someone um, I haven't really gotten to know Mamamoo that well, but I really do love their music. Uh, I also like overlapped these posters a little bit, um, unlike BTS and Stray Kids wall, because there isn't that much um, space compared to the other walls. Uh, so yeah. So I actually really love the overlapping look of the posters and the photos of the Mama Moon 17 wall. It's just that if I did that on the other walls of BTS and Stray Kids, I think it would look, uh, it would make it look like um, I didn't have enough or it'd be too, uh, th too close to each other. But yeah, this is the Stray Kids wall. I did this on the 25th of June and I have something that needs to go in front of it. So I was really mindful of how high the posters started from. you guys enjoyed that video and stick around for my next vlog and whenever i upload next um click on the left for the last video that i did and click on the right for whatever youtube recommends you um and i'll see you in the next one bye